Making one headphone to fit everybody's ears would be like trying to make one pair of shoes to fit everybody's feet. I mean, it's impossible. You know what, Johnny? You're right. I'm Ross Miller, and this is 90 Seconds on The Verge. Apple is negotiating the purchase of Beats for $3.2 billion. The deal could be announced as early as next week. The story was first reported by Financial Times and later confirmed by Wall Street Journal, Bloomberg, and even Dr. Dre himself by way of Tyrese. First billionaire in hip hop, right here from the mother West Coast, believe it. Oh, oh. Beats was founded in 2008 by Dr. Dre and music mogul Jimmy Iovine. According to NPD, it commands around 59% of the premium headphone market and has essentially replaced Apple's white earbuds as a SATA symbol. But thinking long term, Beats also has a subscription music service. Beats Music launched in January and according to Recode has only managed 200,000 users, a far cry from the nearly 10 million using Spotify. But iTunes Radio hasn't fared much better, and the single track download model that Apple pioneered is declining. Subscription services seem to be the future, and Apple just bought its way into that market. Also, Apple's been on something of a hiring spree lately. Just today, it was revealed that Apple has hired the head of Nokia's Lumia Photography Division, who co-authored the paper on PureView technology. But those hires serve a very utilitarian purpose for Apple. It's not Beats' technology that's worth $3.2 billion. It's the name itself, a well-known and very lucrative brand. And Apple buying an image? Well, that's pretty new territory for the company. For more on Apple, check out The Verge. Coming up, Dr. Dre finally earns his tenure and becomes Professor Dre. 